Hello and welcome to the channel. Any production grade AI powered application is incomplete without retrieval augmented generation. We have done countless videos on RAG and how to implement it with text and with various other tools and models. In this video, I am going to show you how you can implement multimodal RAG with your own data by using Llama Index and few other tools. I will be using the images and text on my local system with my own custom data. Multimodal RAG is a technology or a concept or a framework that combines different types of data like text, images, audio, video to generate new content. Imagine you are writing a story and want to describe a character's appearance. This Multimodal RAG can search a database of images and text to find the best match for your description. Then use that information to generate a detailed and accurate picture of the character. It's like having a super smart research assistant that helps you create more vivid and engaging content by pulling in relevant information from multiple sources. For example, your company deals with some sort of uh, geological information and your company has lots of maps from your country for example I'm based in Australia and for example my company or whatever my client has maps from all across Australia especially from the outback and I also have some text information now in my AI powered application when I want to give a model a prompt according to my own data I can I want to give it not only the text information, I also want to give it some image information of those maps so that whenever any user asks a question about my uh, about any location that okay, for example, where is this location or where is this location in map, then the model should have not only text information, but also it could marry the map with the text information and give user port grounded answer so that is the advantage of this multimodal retrieval augmented generation llama index we have covered it a lot it is mainly a framework for building llm ai powered applications and the focus is more on the data you can do a lot of things with it there are various integrations you can use so for the purpose of this video i'm also going to use one of the embedding model from OpenAI, so you would need um, platform openai.com's API key that is a paid option but you can just drop five to ten dollars and you can use it if you are up to it you can even use an open source embedding model through Olama or whatever you like now um, having said that before I show you how to do it let me give a huge thank you to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to it in video description and I will also give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Now what we are going to do with this one here is, we are going to take our images and text, we will convert them into numerical representation or embeddings and then from there we are going to store them in a vector store, we will be using quadrant here it will all be on our local system this is all private once we store it in the quadrant then whenever a user will ask a question a retrieval will be done on the basis of some similarity search we will be using cosine similarity but there are few other options too like euclidean and various other but cosine is the most used one okay i think it will be better to show you how it works in action and that will make it quite clear let me first show you the data. So what I have done is I have created some text files and I have created some relevant images. So for example, this is my own image here. And then this is a text file which contains all the data about myself, all my personal information, where I live, what I do and all that stuff. Similarly, I have put in few other, for example, I have put in this St. Stephen's Cathedral in Vienna, a fine Gothic architecture by the way and then this is some information about this cathedral and then similarly I have other uh, images for example there is this is this Menakshi Madurai temple amazing architecture in India in Madurai city in South India and then some text file listing it out and then I have this Australian outback where I have also given it a text file 
what exactly Outback is. So this is some sample data I have kept it short, but of course multiple files so that you can scale it as much as you like. And this is what we are going to use. This is my Ubuntu 22.04 machine and I have one GPU card of 48 GB VRAM and Nvidia RTX 6000. You don't need that much space by the way of VRAM. You can go with a normal GPU. So let's clear it. You can even try it on CPU, it might work, but will be slow. Okay, so that is done. Now let me create a Conda environment, which is going to keep everything separate from my local system. I am calling it multi-rag. Let's wait for it to finish. That is done. And now install some of the prerequisites which we will be using. For example, I am using transformers from the source, torch, torch vision, matplotlib because I will also be showing you some of the images and I will be doing it on Jupyter Notebook. We will be installing it shortly. So let's wait for all of these prerequisites to get installed. Should it take too long? these prerequisites are done next up let's set up our open api key so let me set it and then i will clear the screen as i and as i said earlier you can grab it from platform.openai.com that is all done let's now launch our jupyter notebook after installing it and it is going to launch it in the browser so our notebook is launched let's quickly get our data which is stored on our folder which i already showed you the text and image files so i'm just providing the path to where my data is both text and images then i'm creating a simple python dictionary where i'm just creating a key value pair let me run it to show you so i'm just saying that cathedral.txt is related to cathedral.png which is image and similarly outback is with outback and then madurai temple is with madurai temple so we have our data in order now let's import all of the stuff and then we are also going to create some storage or vector store so you see i'm just importing some of the libraries quadrant and llama index and this is these are the vector stores for text and for images and we are simply creating creating the collections in that quadrant vector store all in memory and on our disk locally nothing outside and now let's create an index so this what this index is doing this is just creating an index in that numerical represent, representation or vector store so that whenever someone would search the data the retriever would just retrieve the similar items from that index that is also done and now let's let me show you the images which it has grabbed and stored it in that vector store so i'm just simply using that matplotlib library to plot the images it's a standard python library so i have run it and there you go so these are the images four images it has grabbed from my local folder and now it has already stored it in that vector database in the numerical format okay we also need to create a plot image function so that when we display it something like this it is going to plot the images so function is created and that's all we needed to do now let's try out some questions so what I'm doing here is I'm just asking it who is Fahad Mirza and then it is going to uh, just print top one response and then give me the text information because I'm just retrieving the test text query here that is done let me actually print it by the way it will be easier to read I'm just going to print it like this And then now let me print it there you see so it has just retrieved one node and this is all my information if you see uh, Fahad has built a significant following and all that stuff background and all that my information because model doesn't know so rag knows now we also want to display the images now for that let's quickly plot the images or maybe I will also do both images and text together well, that will be fun so i have again pasted it now i just want to display the text plus i also want to plot the image so let me run it here okay so okay 
Uh, so I just forgot to paste that code. Hang on. And there you go. So I have just pasted these top two lines here, which I forgot earlier. And when I have run it, it has given me just my information out of all of this image. Let's try out another result. So in the next one, sorry, I'm asking it what is Outback. And then let's see, let's run it. There you go. So it has now given me just Outback information from my uh, vector store. Let's ask it one more. I'm just going to maybe I'll just go to the next cell. In this one, I'm asking it, but is where is Minakshi Temple? Let's run it. And then you see it is also telling us that during similarity search from the vector store, the score is quite high. And then it is telling us that it is located here in Madurai, India, the breathtaking example of Dravidian architecture and a revered Hindu pilgrimage site. Amazing stuff. So you see that great stuff and you can very easily create a multi-modal rack pipeline with the, with the help of Llama index and with this bunch of code. And I will be dropping all of those code in my blog and I will drop the link to that in video's description so that you can simply copy paste. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.